Tucson mother came very close to never seeing her daughter again. 15-year-old Heather Holloman was walking from her grandmother's home to a bus stop when a stranger approached her from behind. So what happened next? Justin Shecker has the story you will only see on 9 in Your Side. I'm not a victim. I am somewhat, I'm a 17-year-old girl. I'm about to graduate. Um, and I'm pretty excited about that. If not for her instincts, quick thinking, and courage, Heather Holloman may never have been able to share her story. When it comes down to you either need to do something in the next second, or you are not going to have another opportunity to do anything, in those moments, you need to fight for yourself. May 5th, 2013. It was a Sunday afternoon, just weeks before her 16th birthday and summer vacation. I just visited my grandma and I'm over there a lot. We'll never have the answers as to how long you've been watching her. Because quite frankly, we've been going over to my mother's house since she was a baby. As Holloman walked up the hill, she heard someone's footsteps behind her. It's kind of like a sixth sense went off. I would, like felt something weird. She sensed the footsteps following her we're getting closer. And he stepped on the back of my shoe. As she turned around. He said that he was going to kill me and that I would never see my family again. How are you able to fight him off? I remember like grabbing him, pulling him off of me. And like, at first I was like just screaming because I didn't under, like I was like, what is going on? The Center for Missing and Exploited Children reports that more than 58,000 American children are abducted each year by strangers. Heather's mother, Michelle, says her daughter survived her abduction because she learned from an early age about self-defense and stranger danger. That will to live, that will to survive kicked in. And she's like, oh, hell no. No, you don't. It's not going to be me. No, you're not going to take me. No, you're not going to kill me. After the violent struggle, Holloman broke free and ran for this urgent care. She called her mother, who then dialed 911. My mind just went into a billion, not a million, a billion directions. Um, one being no car, no, no way to get to her. So she took a cab cross town, only to learn she'd have to wait even longer to hug her daughter. They needed to collect DNA off of me, so um, as soon as she came in, I just said, Mom, you can't like touch me or anything. But detectives wouldn't need DNA evidence. Within two hours, Tucson police arrested Alberto Martinez after a series of suspicious activity calls from the apartment complex. I was taken down there in like an SUV, and they just asked me, is this the person? And I said, yes. A year and a half later, Holloman says she's slowly regaining her trust in others. And now that this is over, it's easier for me to talk about it because I don't have to worry about looking over my shoulder as much because I know that I'm strong enough to fight for myself. Her kidnapper is locked up, sentenced last month in Superior Court to 15 years behind bars. Why did you decide to put yourself in front of a camera to tell your story? I'm here talking because I want another girl to see this, and if this unfortunately ever happens to another person, I want her to know that she's not alone. Thank You're you. here. Yeah, thank you for sharing your story. Glad <laughs> to see that she's alive to tell her story. What a strong lady. Yeah, uh -huh. very, very.